What does freedom mean to you? The ability to make my own choices and do the things I would like to do, unhindered by anybody, as long as it's legal. The liberty which we are enshrined from birth, those liberty should not be interfered by any policy, any legislature, but just you living the way you're supposed to live without any infringement from anyone, any authority. Being able to express yourself and not be oppressed by it. So I'm indigenous, obviously we've gone through some challenges in life, and history uh, tells us that it was not the ability to do whatever you want as long as it's not hurting anyone else and being able to enjoy whatever you like to and what makes you happy in life and anyone being able to and we should all have the same freedoms no matter who we are what our backgrounds are what countries we're from all of that probably the ability to like vote and like I don't know, just make decisions on your own, I guess. To be able to live in, I guess, a personal choice to live the way and where you want to live. Having support systems from your government. We can do whatever we want legally. If we ask you to list three countries that do not have freedom, which countries would you say? I don't know. Huh? Uh, would that be like China? I'd say China, Russia, North Korea. China, South China, uh, North Korea. And I was going to say China and North Korea, Russia. I think we all know about North Korea. <laughs> We're not sure, but I think China also, and also Pakistan. Okay. I would say almost every country in the world does not have freedom. All the countries you chose were communist countries. Why would you think communism won't have freedom? By what I see on the television, what I read in the papers, what I read in the history books, from people who know what they're talking about. Because the leadership there, I think, want to control everything. They don't trust their own people. If you have a, an army that's loyal to you, I think that's uh, where the control will come from. I think it's because those who are in power want to maintain complete power over everybody else that they're leading in the country. Um, so being able to have all that power and remove any power that anybody else has, mm -hmm. I guess that leader, would. it seems to make them feel stronger. Uh, it depends on the leader of the country, like how they rule the country. Mm -hmm. Because North Korea, we know, is a dictatorship country, mm -hmm. so that's why they don't have freedom. Mm -hmm. And same for China. 34 years ago, freedom-loving Chinese protested against Chinese Communist Party. That is the ruling regime in China right now. And unfortunately, hundreds of thousands of people died through that massacre. And it's the June 4th Tiananmen Square Massacre. The June 4th is approaching. Do you have any message for the freedom-loving Chinese people who is still fighting this fight? And be sure to follow people that you trust and that trust you, I think that way you'll be better off in perhaps avoiding um, some lack of freedoms. Just continue staying strong, get to know your history and speak up for yourself and for your people. Believe in themselves and uh, believe in their resolve. They need to stay resilient and consistent in what constitutes freedom to them and, and go for it. There will be ups and downs, there will be repression, which is the way we live today because uh, freedom can never be given to you on a platter of gold. You have to walk towards your freedom, you have to fight for your freedom and you have to, to stay resilient in order to achieve freedom. Well, don't give up. I keep I keep uh, pushing along. The power is with the people. Uh, if you continue to move forward and uh, work as one, I think uh, something will be achieved. Um, I think freedom is like we all know birthright of humans. Even though. The people who fight freedom sometimes do not get what they want. They should continue fighting because it's their right to get freedom.